Star Wars Resistance dropped another trailer, and I think that everything Star Wars should be covering this, don't you? Let's do that right now. Hello everyone, and welcome to Everything Star Wars, where I give you everything that could possibly be Star Wars. So much content, so little time. Thank you for my 142 family members. I can't thank you enough. I'm really honored, I'm really, I'm really touched, man. I, I, I can't believe it, because I remember when I had zero. I had zero, and 142 of you have joined my family. I can't thank you enough. I really, really appreciate it. There's so much to tell you, so much content to cover. How could I not cover this? So, resistance dropped, and, um, you know, I, I have other videos on it, and if you want to check them out, check the description below. If this is the first time you're here, smash that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell so I can give you everything that is Star Wars that's right I want to give you everything that is Star Wars everything that means for those of you who don't know that means Galaxy's Edge that means Darth Vader comic that means episode 9 that means questions that haven't been answered that I can find out that means all the movies that means the cartoons that means the streaming service which we will go over Everything from Twitters to, to anything happening, actors coming in, actresses, whatever, we're going to go over all of it. Trust me. So, Star Wars Resistance, what do I think of it? Again, you know, it's a kid show. That's it. it, it dead bottom line. Um, some people said give it a chance. You know, look what happened with Rebels. It'll get darker. It could get darker. It could, you know, start. It, you're right. It, give it a chance. And being a Star Wars fanboy, such as I am, I always have hope, and as I say so many times, that rebellions are built on hope. Now I have made comments in the comment sections of these videos, and they've got plenty of likes. At the end of the video, uh, you could read it for yourself, I will post them here before I uh, end this video. Dave Filoni's in this video, and basically he's without a hat, which is the most shocking thing of this video. I can't believe that Dave Filoni doesn't have a hat on. I've never seen him without a hat, but he doesn't have a hat in the video. That was that was shocking to me. He um, he says that they're, they're, they're called Team Fireball, and basically that they race to survive to make money. Now that's something I don't understand. I don't understand the the, the Terry. Uh, values like I know the public credits because that was when Waddle talked to Qui Gon Jinn, so that I know. But what other credits are there? What other, you know, I, I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm a little puzzled. And why are they racing to make money? They're part of the resistance. Doesn't the resistance have funds? Aren't they funded? Uh, uh, some questions about that. I'm not too sure about. So they go into the characters, Kaz. Jaeger, Tam, and Nico. Uh, Nico, he's a genius, and Kaz and I mean, is the pilot and his spy for Paul Dameron, and he's supposed to spy on the First Order. Um, again, this takes place right before The Force Awakens. Um, and there's Jaeger and there's Tam, who are mechanics. Uh, you know, and they, they describe the show as you know, with the ships and different ships and vibrant, colorful, action-packed. And they said this is a show they wish that when it, they had when they were a kid. Now, this is what you'll see in the video down below. Again, just check it out in the description. How do I feel about it? I don't have high expectations. I'm not crazy over the art. It seems a little goofy for me. You know, kid, shit. It's too immature for me. I mean, at my age, you know. I, I guess I'll watch it, you know, again, I'll give it a chance, and if I just don't like it, you know, do I feel excited? No. But again, this is me, it doesn't mean it's you, and, and if you're excited, great, I'm happy for you. I'm just, I don't know, I don't really feel anything towards it. It's okay, that's it, it it's not meant for me. 
The reason I'm disappointed with that fact is because with the state of Star Wars as it is right now, with Ruin Johnson coming in and dividing the fandom in half because that's the movie he wanted, it, it, it's like you made the Clone Wars and the reaction was wonderful. You, you, that was what we needed. We needed, as Paul Dameron said, the spark of hope. And that was the spark. You ignited the spark by giving a little bit of what the fans wanted. And I felt you should build off of that. And Filoni, Filoni, the guy who knows Star Wars in and out, he should have said, look, look what the hell they reacted. We got to build on this momentum. If we want them back, if we want to get the hope back, we need to build on that momentum. That's what you need to do. But they want to focus on the new generation. They don't want to focus on the older generation. Well, they're bringing Clone Wars, so that's a positive, and that helps the people with the prequel generation. So you got the prequel, you got the original trilogy, and the sequel. So you you, you put a kid show out for the newer fans, the, the ones who are following, I guess, The Force Awakens and, and The Last Jedi, and you got them, okay. And then you covered the Clone Wars to try and get the prequel fans in it. Okay, so that that's, okay, I guess you're trying to cover ground. So what about the original trilogy fans? What are you doing for them? Well, we'll bring it out episode nine. Okay, so I'm not really looking forward to much. What I'm looking forward to is Battlefront 2. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put that also in the description below. That looks awesome. And the updates are terrific. And I really can't, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to Chicago. I'm going to Celebration. And I'm gonna try to cover it as much as I can, but that's in April and I'm really pumped for that. So that's something I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the Clone Wars. So there is stuff for me, but it's gonna be in 2019. That's just how I feel. I think overall the show's for kids and the newer generation. I'll check it out, but I'm not too excited. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's good for you. I hope your kids, if you want kids watch it, it's great. Now, the only thing is you say it's 10 o'clock on October 7th. Everybody says, well, if it's a kid show, why are you putting it on 10? True. But the next day is Columbus Day. And how do I know? Because the day after Columbus Day is my birthday. That's how I know. I'm off Columbus Day. Most schools will be off Columbus Day. So I don't think that it will affect too much. But if it's more geared towards kids, I agree with everybody. Why you put it on at 10 o'clock? 7 o'clock? 8? Okay, 10? It, I mean, I don't think it's going to affect anything because of Columbus Day. But if you're always going to make them at 10, it's definitely going to affect you. And if people older like me don't like the show and don't watch the second one or the third one or whatever, it's really going to affect you. So if you're going to gear towards kids, put it at a good time. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, that's my review. I Again, I'm not excited and it is what it is. All right. Well, this is Rob Delavis for all of us who love Star Wars. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'm going to continue to give you everything stars. I hope you had, hope you have had a wonderful weekend. And uh, let's keep the spark of hope alive, man. 2019, it's a make or break year. Galaxy's Edge, Celebration, Clone Wars, Episode 9. A lot to look forward to streaming service. So there's a lot coming out in 2019. I just still have that hope. And I hope that... It gets better and better. And to know I'm going to be with a bunch of great, fantastic Star Wars fans at Celebration, what more can I ask for? So, we'll see what happens in 2019. Let's see how 2018 goes out. Star Wars Resistance? Whatever. If you enjoy it, good for you. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Thank you, family members. I love you all. Just remember that. Thank you for supporting me. And if you want to see any content, Hit me in the email below, not the comment section. Send me an email, and I'll work on it. I promise you. But send me an email, because I'll never remember if it's in the comment section. Take care, everyone. Be well. Tell me what you feel about this in the comment section. Feel free. Love you all. Thank you for supporting me. And I plan on bringing you a lot more. Take care.